We're going to make a Venetian carnival mask, and this one has a lot of more jagged edges or sharp edges, so I think I'm going to continue with that idea. And so when you are designing your mask, it's good to come up with a plan. So I am going to do these blue. And the same design or length of a triangle. I'm on this side for symmetry. When we talk about symmetry, which is equal on both sides, it's like a mirror image. See, I'm just going side by side with my broad tip. It helps you cut color in a big space. And as I'm doing this color, I'm kind of thinking of what else it is I would do on this design. So I'm going to add an orange here. And again, symmetry. It's the same on either side. I'm not going over my blue because it would make a very strange color. So I'm being careful in coloring. Kind of using the tip right there when you get close instead of the broad edge. Again, I'm thinking of all the things that I know how to draw. I know how to draw triangles and stripes and dotted lines. And I'm going to continue my idea of the angular line triangles around the eyes. I'm going to try to color very carefully with yellow inside. I'm going to continue my diagonal. And I love this yellow. It's such a happy color. <laughs> I'm not putting too much marker down, just enough to make it nice and bright. And you know how I outline this in red up there. I'm going to try that here and I'm going to go really slow and do that. Again, I'm repeating shapes. It's so important when you do symmetry and repeating a shape, repetition. These dotted lines. Maybe I'll go under here. Okay, I think that's a very bold design. Bold meaning a strong design. So I'm going to leave it like this. Show you how I can cut it out. 
Okay, we want to cut out these big areas here first and get them out of our way. Okay, big area getting out of our way of the paper we don't really need because these dragon lines are a little harder to cut, but if you hold your hand close, the left hand that doesn't have your scissors, or the right hand, depending on what hand you use to cut. Don't tear like that, because Miss Calamiteo just ripped her mask a little bit. So be careful, cut close, and cut it off instead of tearing it off. So you can cut very carefully close there. Okay. Cut on the outside of the black line so you don't cut into the colored area. Again, I'm going slow and I'm controlling. Look at, I'm holding it behind for control of my tools and my hand, okay? Because we don't want to wrinkle the mask, we want to keep it nice and flat. So if we don't, if we squeeze it all together and bunch it up in our hands, we're going to ruin the beautiful flatness of our mask. Because you work really hard on coloring, and then if you crinkle it all up, especially these spiked areas. You don't want to make them all crumbly. You know crumbly? All right. And I hold it carefully here. And then I'm going to ask Miss Carla Mateo to cut my eyes out. Not your real eyes. <laughs> your mask eyes. Notice I'm keeping my hands out of the way. And then I am going to take my popsicle stick, turn it over. Tape it down a little bit. Just a little tape there. And voila, there is my mask. And what fun is that? So you enjoy coloring. And be sure you think about your design and you love your ideas. Okay? Have fun. Do your best.